Yo Culture Confederates. So CNN is reporting that there's been all these mysterious anti-Trump statues popping up in places like D.C., Portland, you know, all these liberal enclaves. And this is high-class stuff, folks. We're talking poop on Nancy Pelosi's desk, Trump standing behind a nude woman in a park, a nude woman statue in a park where kids can see it. I mean, these people have such hate for Donald Trump, and I didn't vote for Trump, but they have such hate for Trump that they will break the law, that they will uh, go to the uh, to the bottom of the barrel artistically to prove their point of how much they hate Trump. And thank you again for watching, subscribing, and being a part of this thing called the Culture Confederacy. It's a lot of fun doing this channel. It's a great honor to do this channel. I just had somebody uh, comment from Australia, so a shout out to all you in Australia. So let's get to this. It says here, it started once again, CNN, mysterious anti-Trump statues popping up within days of the election, 2024 election. It started with a bronze replica of former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's desk on the National Mall in D.C., topped with a basketball-sized poop. Now, anti-Trump statues are popping up in more cities, or is it pooping up in more cities? Pooping on these cities. The latest appeared in Philadelphia's Maya Park, I believe it is, or is it Magia? have to be culturally appropriate here. You know, as somebody who writes music in his spare time, who's aware of things culturally, who talks about and loves history, culture, music, great art, I'm getting confused here. So is it May or Maya, Major, whatever. So the latest appeared in Philadelphia's Major Park Wednesday morning when someone positioned a roughly eight-foot statue of Donald Trump behind, directly behind, a sculpture of a nude woman. And the plaque below read, in honor of a lifetime of sexual assaults, referring to the Access Hollywood tape back in 2016. And they've got a picture of the statue where Trump's behind this nude statue of a woman. Quote, I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet just kiss. I don't even wait, the plaque reads. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Grab them by the you-know-what. You can do anything. Now, I am surprised that CNN allowed this one word, the P word, to be in this article. Absolutely shocked that they would put the P word in this article. Now, I understand that they're quoting something, but uh, shouldn't you have, like, the uh, little dot signs or whatever to, you know, cover up the word? But it says here, the sculpture didn't last long. Philadelphia City crews removed it around noon Wednesday after they were notified of its appearance because the artist did not have a permit, according to Laura Griffith, Deputy Director of the Association for Public Art. So they're willing to break the law and go to the gutter to prove to you that they hate Trump. A seemingly identical Trump statue popped up, or is it pooped down, or pooped up, whatever it is, in downtown Portland, Oregon last weekend. That one was quickly... Uh, mimicked, they tried to mimic like a Louis XVI, vandalized it with a Portland City Council candidate and Trump supporter filming the video of himself chiseling away at the plaque. The destroyed statue vanished Monday morning. Now CNN has received, or received a call Thursday rather morning from a man who claims he's spearheading the political art project but he insists he remains anonymous to keep the focus on the art because if he shows his face, the uh, Trump crowd, the Trump mob will go after him, right? He tells CNN he's working with a small group. It's not huge. It's just a few people, he said. And the message is all about resistance fatigue. Now, I think the resistance fatigue is having to look at these ridiculous gutter trash statues. One of the most shocking things about Trump as a president and as a candidate, as a person, are so ingrained in our memory, are so distant, that they aren't shocking anymore. Well, there were several presidents that said some uh, really, uh, you know, salty things behind closed doors. Richard Nixon was one of them. Uh, George uh, Bush Sr., JFK, Clinton, you name it. All these presidents. 
Now, here's one for you, folks. So on Monday, a bronze statue of a tiki torch appeared in D.C.'s Freedom Plaza, just a couple of blocks from the White House. And, of course, this is referring to Charlottesville. The statue called the Donald J. Trump Enduring Flame, no reference to JFK, appears to mock the former president's defense of the marchers who attended a white nationalist rally in 2017 that left a woman dead. So you see, Trump is racist, he's sexist, he's a white nationalist. But isn't this funny that they have to go to the gutter? They have to go down to the gutter. As low as you can go to prove that they hate Trump. So I thought I'd share this with you again. Mysterious anti-Trump statues popping up in places like D.C., Portland, Philadelphia. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to follow me at Instagram, hashtag Jason. Don't forget to click that like button, subscribe, all that fun stuff. But don't forget to follow me at Instagram, hashtag Jason Composes, because I write music in my spare time. You can also go to Substack or find me at X, Culture Confederacy, at Culture Confed 1 on X. This is the Culture Confederacy saying peace out. Stay safe, everybody. God bless this thing called the United States. I'll catch you next time, and y'all have a great Sunday morning. Take care.